Hello everyone, my name is Sean E, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at proper subsets versus improper subsets. So let's say we have a set A and a set B. Remember that to say A is a subset of B, we use that symbol, a C with a line under it, and that means that all of the elements in A are also in B. However, when we use this symbol, this means that A may also be equal to B. If that were the case, then we would say that A is an improper subset of B. Now to say that A is a proper subset of B, we would use this symbol here. So that is without the line underneath it. So you can see that's similar to the inequality signs that you use where you put a uh, line underneath it to say that it's less than or equal to. So 3 is less than or equal to 3 and A is either a proper or improper subset of B when we use that symbol. We don't know. It may be a proper subset, it may not be. In the same way that 3 may be less than 3, it may not be. Obviously we know that it is not less than 3, but uh, you get the point what that little line does. So let's take a look at a little example. Let's say that A is equal to the set that has 0 and 1, and B is equal to the set that has 0, 1, and 2. Then we could say that A is a subset of B using the line. Um, that's not incorrect. However, we know that A is a proper subset of B because B has 2 and A doesn't, which means that A is not equal to B. So what we could also say is that A is a proper subset of B. And again, that's what that symbol there means, just kind of looks like a C. Um, a is a proper subset of B. So when you use that sign, you know that A is not equal to B. And now let's take a look at the other possibility. Let's say that A is equal to the set 0, 1, and B is equal to the set 0, 1. Now we can still say that A is a subset of B because all of the elements in A are in B because of course they are equal. So in the same way you could say that B is a subset of B. Every set is a subset of itself. It's an improper subset of itself but it is a subset nonetheless because to be a subset you just have to have all of uh, all of your elements have to be in another set in another set. So to be an improper subset effectively means that uh, the two sets are equal. So if A is an improper subset of B, then A is equal to B. Hope that helped explain improper um, that improper subset versus proper. And it's important um, to recognize that this means improper or proper, and this means proper. This doesn't explicitly mean improper. Of course, if you wanted to say that, you could just say equals. Um, so if you're talking about two sets and the two sets are equal, you know that um, they are both improper subsets of each other. So I hope that helped. If it did, let me know. If it didn't, let me know. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to know, if you have any particular requests or questions. And be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet, and I'll see you next time.